it really sets the tone of the debate when it comes to health, when it comes to education, when it comes to job opportunities, training, and so on. What do I mean by that? I think the immigration issue is a wedge issue, is, is truly destructive, but it also spills over into those other subjects. What is being derived from the heated emotional argument on immigration, uh, which fosters and nurtures terrible prejudices, does spill over to all the other areas. That's why immigration is so important. It is a question of fairness and justice and, and what to do with its economic impact. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But I think also it is an absolute necessity in order to be discussing all the other issues that impact our Latino communities. Look, there's only a certain percentage of the Latino community that is not documented, and it is a minority. But I think sometimes it is on purpose that that is done, to use one issue such as immigration in order to thwart, whether it's representation, you know, and everything else, uh, in Congress or in the state houses or at the city council commissioner's level, as well as the other policies on education and health. Again, it's a scare tactic many times to destabilize and instill fear in people that you're having thousands or millions of people coming over illegally taking advantage of all services that are being offered, bankrupting your state, your cities, and your counties, contributing nothing, only takers, as they say, not makers. Look. All that language that is being used right now as we debate the budgets is quite intentional. And I'm hoping that people will be sensitive enough to pick up the political message that is there so that we can at least rebut, refute, and, and present our argument on why it's not valid. We're Republicans and Democrats, it doesn't matter who you are, shouldn't be doing it. Uh, it it's a temporary win with long-term damage.